Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here. It's time to replace this monitor behind me because MSI sent over a couple different things under the MSI Prestige series. First of all, a 34 inch 5K IPS monitor, which I'm pretty excited to check out, especially while doing some video editing. And speaking of that content creation, that's kind of what their desktop they sent over, the MSI Prestige P100, which of course should also be able to run some games. It has an i9, it has a, I think a GTX 2080 Super. So it should be very powerful to, you know, video edit, game even. So I will go ahead and unbox both of them in this video because it is kind of the content creator setup. The style of the desktop and the setup of the case looks pretty interesting to me. So I'm kind of excited to check that out. So let's go and unbox both the MSI Prestige desktop and 5K monitor. So we'll start with the desktop, take a look at that cool design, take a look inside the desktop, and then right after that, check out that 5K monitor. So everything that comes in the packaging, of course the desktop, you do have a keyboard and mouse combo, which is great that they include. We'll check that out in just a second. And then this extra box, which should have our power cable in it. And then inside it looks like you have some extra thumb screws and a SATA cable. Let's take a closer look at the mouse and keyboard. Looks like it does come in white to match that desktop. So pretty sleek white MSI Prestige keyboard right here. Here's a closer look at the switch on it. So overall it does have a full number pad on the side. You can just go ahead and pop the space bar back on. Both are wired with USB type A and here's just a kind of a closer look at the mouse. You do have a scroll wheel and a couple buttons on the side, which should be just fine for gaming. I would say you should be able to game just fine with both this mouse and keyboard. Now let's move on to that desktop, which is actually fairly small. Now not quite on the front, but on the front left side, you do have some ports, a USB-C slot, two USB-A slots, and a headphone and microphone jack. Up at the top is where you can find that power button along with the underside being gold trim all the way around. Those aren't the only ports on the back, more USB-A slots. You actually have a display port and HDMI slot tied to that motherboard that do have caps with them. So these are not the GPU slots to connect to your monitor. You're gonna wanna look a little further up. So again, moving along, you have multiple USB-A USB slots, excuse me, ethernet port, and then moving on up are a lot more audio style ports. Of course, if you wanna connect some external speakers. And then moving up towards the top is where that GPU is. This is the RTX, not GTX 2080 Super with three display ports, one HDMI slot and one USB-C slot. Taking it apart, fairly simple. Just took off a couple of the screws on the back panel, just used the Phillips head and took it off. So fairly simple and then just slide this side panel on out and we could take a look at the back, whoops. Meant for this to be the front side, but you'll see you can take a look at the fan and then the power supply, 650 watts. So same process again, just take two screws out the back side and then the panel should just slide on out. And there we go, there is that GPU. It's an MSI RTX 2080 Super inside and you really don't have access to anything else. Looks like the motherboard is facing in towards the inside and you saw the other side, you can't really see what's going on. So it looks like you're gonna have to take even more apart if you really wanna upgrade things on the motherboard, such as an SSD or a CPU. Now, since this is a pre-built, it's not necessarily made to be upgraded all of the time. And with it being so compact, it's kind of hard to have an open concept desktop in such a compact case. Onto the MSI monitor. It is a 34 inch 21 by nine monitor, model PS341WU, which as you can see, IPS, HDR600, DCI-P3, 98% on that color gamut, and of course 5K as well, let's open it up. First off, you have the base, it says MSI down in the corner, and at the bottom has some grips to it, so it's definitely not gonna slide around on your desk. You've also got your arm mount that connects to the back of the monitor and slides into that base. It does look like you can raise and lower the monitor. Also inside a simple clip that goes on the back of it to manage some of your cables. Connecting the arm and the base, fairly simple. Just go ahead and connect the two and there's a screw inside the packaging. Just screw them on together. Cable wise, they'd probably be packed more neatly. Again, this is just a review unit sent by MSI. You do have a USB cable for the back of the monitor. You have a DVI cable, which is really nice that they include a DVI, not HDMI because 
That is the preference over HDMI and then a power cable. Quickly, here is the back of the panel. You do have an MSI logo. You really don't see the back of most monitors. You can adjust the menu here with the joystick. It has a P button, which we'll try out once we get the desktop all booted up. And then on the back, this actually comes out, this little uh, clip here, and reveals where you can actually connect to the stand. It does have four screws that you have to screw on this panel, so I'm about to do that right now. And then when it comes to the connections, it looks like this pops off, so you can actually cover all of the cables all of the connections and taking a look at the ports two hdmi one display port one usb c the upstream slot a usb a slot and then a jack for you pretty simple four phillips head screws and then this back plate actually will go back on to cover everything up before we get the pc connected multiple things you can do up and down of course you can actually go left and right and you can push it down if you'd like to or put it back up so everything's all hooked up. Let's boot up the MSI Prestige desktop for the first time. Worth mentioning on the front part of the panel, it does light up when turned on. Kind of gives it a neat underglow feel. After booting it up, looks like MSI had already put a Windows profile on there. So I'll have to go in and change that. I did change the wallpaper. Thankfully, the Prestige desktop actually has a Wi-Fi card in it. So that's one less thing I have to worry about. I might actually still hook it up to Ethernet, but it's nice if you don't have that option. There is a Wi-Fi card in this desktop. I have to say I'm really liking this all white setup, especially with the contrast it has with a darker desktop. Now looking at some of the storage, first of all, with SSD storage, you have almost a terabyte of that. And then also you have 3.6 terabytes of hard drive space, which is great for a content creator like me. I'm running out, running out of space on my hard drives all of the time, especially with larger 4K video files. It's great to have both an SSD and hard drive space, so when I'm storing files, I can throw it on the hard drive, whereas if I do want to install some games, I can install it on the SSD. And when it comes to RAM, this model has 64 gigs, which is pretty crazy. You should be able to throw just about any sort of application at it, have a ton of Chrome tabs open, and you'll be all set. Anyways, that's it for me. I will be streaming on Twitch with this desktop, so if you want to hear more about it or just check out some of the Twitch streams. I will link to that down below. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to click that thumbs up if you did. Be sure to drop a comment. Let me know what you think about this prestige setup. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching.